ICICA Prudential Signature Plan. It is a ULIP. Will this ULIP help you create long-term wealth? Will this ULIP help you achieve your financial goals? Is this a good investment or a bad investment? Let us analyze. Hi, this is Ramalingam from holisticinvestment.in. We help individual investors like you to take right financial and investment decision. Before analyzing this plan, we have to understand the basic futures, key futures, investment strategy of this plan. Then we can see the pros and cons and then we will be able to evaluate. ICC signature plan is a unit linked insurance plan, ULIP. That means the money collected from you will be invested in stock market or money market. So it is a market linked product. This product has got basically four variants. Three variants are explained here. One is single pay. You pay a single premium and wait for few years, 10 years or more. And on maturity, you will be getting a lump sum money. Second option, limited premium paying term. Here, uh, the policy term is between 10 to 30 years. You can choose to pay premium only for 5 years, 7 years or 10 years and wait for the balance years till maturity. On maturity, you will be getting back the lump sum money. Third option is regular pay. Term is 10 years or 30 years or in between. Whatever the policy term, throughout the policy term, you pay premium. Right? So when you invest in this policy, all these three variants are available. In addition to that, you also have this whole life policy option where you can you know, like uh, uh, pay premium for the entire term. The policy term can be uh, till 99, you can keep it. So you can cover your life till 99. So this is predominantly a whole life policy. This variant is also available in this plan. As we have understood the basic structure of this policy, let us understand some more key features of this policy. SWP systematic withdrawal plan is available after five years. You can withdraw a portion of money every year, fixed every year. Uh, this SWP payouts, payouts can be monthly basis, quarterly basis, off yearly, yearly, you will be able to do. There are few other parameters for this withdrawal, right? Now, uh, as this is a ULIP, this invests in different categories of funds. They have given different categories of funds, equity funds, focus 50 fund, opportunities fund, value, value and asset fund like that. They've got different varieties in equity funds. And also in fixed income category, there are varieties. Income fund, money market fund, secure opportunities fund. These funds are low risk. They will not invest in stock market based investments, whereas balance to fund uh, a combination of equity and debt will be invested, but predominantly equity oriented funds. So this combination is also available. You can choose any of these funds. You can choose multiple funds from this and you can invest in different ratio. You can invest some money in equity, some money in debt, and you can also dynamically change from equity to debt, debt to equity will be able to switch. So that way you will be able to maintain and rebalance asset allocation through this policy. Before analyzing this policy, we have to understand the basic benefits from these policies. These policies has got two benefits. One is the death benefit and the other one is the maturity benefit. Let us look at both of them one by one. Death benefit, some assured in the policy sum assured in the policy, then the fund value on that date, 105% of the total premium paid. So these are all the three values that will be calculated. Out of these three values, whichever is higher, that will be given to the nominee as the death benefit in case of unfortunate death of the policy holder. Now, what next? Maturity benefit. Let us see the maturity benefit with an example. Policy term of 15 years you are taking and the annual premium is 
2 lakhs is what you have taken and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain you the logic here you are paying premium for 7 years and the fund CAGR works out to 8 percentage maturity value is 28 lakhs uh, I'll tell you though it is 8 percent it is not actually 8 percent 8 percent is the grass return in their benefit illustration so we have to dive deep and see we should not get carried away by the 8 percent given in the benefit illustration 8 percent is the return which they make out of investing our money so it is a gross return so what is the net return we will get let us calculate 2 lakhs you are paying for 7 years and you are waiting for another 8 years on 15th year you are getting a maturity value of 28.2 lakhs this works out to 5.54 percentage return 5.5 is kind of an AFD return is this uh, an inflation beating return? Why do we invest in stock market by taking risk? Because we want to beat inflation. But 5.54 is not definitely sufficient to beat the inflation. I'm not sure this will not even help you meet inflation. So this is 5.54 percentage is not a good risk adjusted return. Why this particular fund, even after investing in uh, equities it is giving you only 5.54 percentage return look at here there is plenty of charges premium allocation charge when you enter into a fund there is a charge fund administration charge when you stay in the fund there are charges policy administration charges again this is for the first year and also uh, there are some policies in some cases there are per month charges are also available then mortality charges for giving you life cover obviously they have to charge then discontinuance charges when you surrender this policy before five years you have to pay charges so to stay in the fund to enter into this policy to exit from this policy to maintain this policy everything you have to pay charges these charges pulls down the return. This is a major challenge with these kind of ULIPs. Because of that, it is working out only 5.54 percentage as the IRR. Now, uh, let us look at the pros, positive side of this particular plan. You can switch from one fund to another uh, fund. You can also redirect premium. In the, in the first year, you can direct the premium to go into two uh, funds. In the next year, you can give direction to go into completely three different funds. It is possible to redirect. Partially, you can withdraw. So, you will be able to manage and control your overall investments through all these options. This particular policy gives you significant tax benefits also for long-term investors. There are some additional benefits given in this policy. We have looked at the advantages of investing in this policy what are all the potential demerits of this policy that we have to look at it in detail uh, obviously it is a ulip it will not give you any guaranteed assured returns like any other uh, you know like uh, insurance policies like endowment money back kind of policies so, as we have seen a lot of charges allocation charges administration charges there are you know like uh, multiple charges that brings down the return lock-in period of five years so no flexibility for you to come out of it easily then maturity proceeding taxable as capital gains if the annual premium is more than 2.5 lakhs. This is something very, very important. People think all insurance policies are tax free. No, if the maturity proceedings are taxable, if the annual premium is more than 2.5 lakhs, this is a new rule. So we have to remember that all insurance policies are not tax free. Let us compare this particular plan with an ELSS mutual fund scheme because ELSS mutual fund also invests in stock market. This fund is also investing in stock market. We are actually taking a life cover also. Let us say whatever the 2 lakhs premium you are paying in the first year, 1.5 lakhs you are paying and taking a uh, term insurance plan for 15 years. So life cover is taken separately and the balance money is invested in ELSS mutual fund. So seven years total outgo for you is two lakhs 
and the maturity value it works out to 47.74 lakhs even if you adjust it for taxation it works out to 44.32 lakhs 44.32 lakhs is definitely a much much higher return than the average mediocre return generated by this particular policy which is 5.54 percentage that way uh, icca prudential signature plan underperforms an elss mutual fund because in elss mutual fund there is no entry charges the uh, running cost the expense ratio is similar to icc signature plan and there is no exit load in mutual funds in elss mutual funds especially because they have got a 3 years lock in period after 3 years when you withdraw there is no lock in period there is no exit load but remember uh, elss mutual fund is also market linked it can go up and down price volatility will be there i would suggest when you are investing in an elss mutual fund you stay in an elss mutual fund or in any equity fund for a time frame of at least 7 years plus so that volatility will be you know, like uh, optimized and you will be generating a decent return so what is the final uh, choice do we have to invest or do we have to avoid this particular uh, policy one this policy is not giving us a better risk adjusted rate of return 5.54 percentage is not a risk adjusted return this is not an inflation beating return also on the other hand this particular policy is not giving you flexibility if you are investing in an elss mutual fund this year and it is not doing well next year you can choose a different elss mutual fund whereas icc signature plan when you have taken it if you have committed a premium of like for 5 years you have to commit it to the, for 5 years and the lock in period is also much higher here comparatively and uh, if you are a risk tolerant investor aggressive investor in that case you can take a combination of term insurance plus elss mutual fund that can definitely outperform because elss mutual fund gives you 12 percentage kind of returns in the long run if you are a risk averse conservative investor you can go for ppf plus term insurance ppf gives you a guaranteed return of 7.1% again it is much higher than the 5.54 percentage return generated by this icc signature plan so anyway if you look at it this particular uh, policy gives you poor return compared to both ppf and elss so these two options are much better because of these reasons do you have to invest in this policy or avoid this policy i would suggest you to avoid this and select ppf or elss if you want to read an in depth research analysis about this particular policy we have done that as a blog post a well detailed research article it is available you can uh, click the link and read the article it is available in the description box you have any questions on this policy or any other investment options or anything related to your financial plan or financial goals feel free to book a free appointment with our financial planner the link for the free registration booking an appointment with financial planner is given below this video in the description box would you like to attend insightful investment webinars the upcoming webinar definitely you will be liking it the registration link for the upcoming webinar is given below this video again in the description box if you like this video please give a thumbs up if you know anyone in your social circle who would be interested to watch this video please share it with them kindly subscribe to our youtube channel if you are not subscribed to it so far so that you will not miss any of our future videos bye see you later